we did it boys we did it this is what the underside of the base is looking like and honestly it looks better than any other part of the base the top here is a different story uh -huh. although i don't like doing the outside so i think i'm just gonna focus on the inside until i get an idea for the outside i'm honestly just kind of doing this as i go i much prefer building a base this way thorny boy so this episode is going to be a little bit different than the normal ones, guys, as you can probably tell. When you get out of here, guys, out of the nether portal, it's just a nuisance to have to fly all the way over here. Oh my goodness, the amount of work that takes. It's, it's, it's not okay. So what I have done, guys, is I've installed an ender porter. That's right. Boom. Easy peasy. We're over here now. Boom, boom, boom. We get an ender pearl, we can throw her in here. And say we want to go to the go to the nether. Don't worry about it. Easy clap. No worries. Just throw your ender pearl back there and we can go into the nether. Oh wait, wait, wait. I want to go back to the you know this section of the base. Pfft. Easy peasy. Don't have to fly or anything. So you know, get rid of these things. There's no need for this. Just kidding, I actually really like my ledger. But essentially, yeah, I built that. So Let's go over what happened. Yep, so this is where the lines are put. They're right underneath the pathway here. And we got a going two line and a coming back line. So it's a little bit of a hefty project to wire up. I also installed this here to give me some ender pearls in case, you know, I run out. Um, and I can teleport out of here. And of course, this here is filled with uh, ender pearls. I do need to figure out a way to stock this up. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I have a bunch more buttons that we can wire up if we want, which is awesome. So I only have this one here, which is to our nether portal. The rest are probably going to be somewhere else. I don't know. One thing that I find really annoying in Minecraft is inventory management. And just, you know, my favorite way to just get my inventory clean like it is now is by dumping it into a shulker box like this. <laughs> which is great and all until I want to go find it again, right? So now I got to search through a thousand different shulker boxes to get the item that I actually want. Now, luckily, there is something we can do about this. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to build the Googler. Surprisingly, this build didn't take me that long. Uh, it's actually a really easy build um, and setting it up isn't too bad. I just used uh, Lightmatic, which really helps when building things in survival. If you guys don't have Lightmatic uh, or uh, schematics installed, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a tutorial, I highly recommend checking out my boy Hugh Bone. I'll put a link to it in the description. Say, let's see, let's do one more example to see what we can pull out here. Say we want to get sand. And the thing will search for sand. So I'm just going to see if I can. Yep. Okay. There you go. See that? Look at that. That is how it works w with all this stuff. So we have these filler items in the minecart hopper with our item that we actually put into the system. So it just works like a regular hopper filter, but it's searching through a bunch of different shulker boxes instead of just one hopper. So I think it's such a nice, awesome system. I think that's enough of me saying how much I like this. Uh, that's basically why I built this. But one thing that I do want to do is I want to decorate it properly. All right, what do we think, guys? What do we think? Glass? Grass. Glass or grass? <laughs> but yeah, this here looks pretty good in my opinion. I put two diamond blocks to kind of show that we're rich, right? I got the two lanterns to light it up. But yeah, I don't know what else to do with this room yet. So I'm thinking on this wall here. We might have some sort of shulker box storage, you know, just have a bunch of empty shulker boxes because we have access to so many shulker boxes. It's insane. So maybe we do something like that. Um, uh, I've also thought about it. Should we use copper? I think we should. So <laughs> that brings me to probably the most scary part of this episode is going copper mining. Uh-huh. So getting copper in 117 isn't as easy as getting it in 118. 
So I'm kind of wondering if I should wait before I include oxidized copper into our builds. Uh, I'm thinking the copper would look really good in this archway here. And if we yeah did a little bit of adjustments. Anyways, this is kind of prototype number one. It'll probably change. All right, but that's enough base work today. I think it's time that we get into some shenanigans going on on the server. Oh yeah, there's some shenanigans happening. Uh, and I told KB I'd help him out with some redstone. So let's check that out first. I like the I splash it. of color. Mm, it, it, it's definitely, if, if you don't have it, you feel like it needs something. But that green is, the, the kelp has have the you perfect okay. color for this. Weird, weird idea. Have you tried, like, a bright concrete somewhere? Um, or, or like think quartz, it, quartz. But we can test it. Oh, quartz could work, but I don't want to. So I, I want a very dark feel. That's kind of what I'm going That's for. why the quartz is like we, an accent, you know? Maybe. We, I can test it. But yeah, with the new light levels in 1.18, I want a very moody, dark feeling place. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's check um, out this redstone. So now, don't judge me too hard with this mess I made. Okay, okay. So I don't know why it's not working. So what's happening is um, if I want to lock in cobblestone here, it's just spilling over to the next one. Uh, yeah, so you can't use dark oak signs. Is it just the signs that are the problem? Uh, it's 16 stackables, so... You have to use something that stacks to 64. Oh, I see what you, is is it really that simple my my problem and my Yeah, the redstone looks use fine as a filter. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I'd recommend like uh, uh, you know you can go to those websites where they get really strange characters, just copy one of those and rename an item that. Um because you don't want it any, to ever mix with something that you're going to put into the storage system. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Um do you need like a Let's bunch of get, a certain it, type of block? I can provide that if you need. We can just get a. Hmm, can it be slabs? I'll, I'll, Literally anything I, that stacks to sixty-four. Ah, uh, perfect. Okay. I don't think I'll auto sort that. I would uh, rename it, so then it doesn't matter. Then it's its own item, essentially. Oh, so I can use anything. Okay. Let's see what is. Uh, Abundant. Yeah. What do I want to waste? Uh, let's just use netherrack. Yep. Yeah. And just rename it to like something you're never gonna use. Like placeholder. Sure, yeah. I I never have creative names. Well, KB, it's been yep. a pleasure visiting your base here, and I one hundred percent appreciate your kindness to allowing me to help fix your redstone. And I'm glad it was an easy yeah. fix, because you are in fact, a really good redstone player. So, good game. KB is such an awesome guy. I love his videos. They're really chill and relaxing. If you guys are interested, check him out uh, in the description below. But I'll put a card up now as well. So, yeah, KB is actually one of the very original members of Season 3. So, if you didn't know that, he's an OG guy. If you want to check out the real history of the server, he's one good place to start. Um, but however, guys, today we have some other things to get to, and yeah, if you know, there's a war at spawn, and it's a war between the DSMC, which is my associate, Tinkfro, and Drippo, which is my friend, Ash. Now, I sided with my business associate, Tinkfro, so I'm with the DSMC, but you know, as you know, things get more and more complicated as you want to as they evolve so there's lasers there's this thing that's not frozen anymore there's there's the, 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 the turrets got blown up and look at that oh no see my turret got blown up guys oh no oh how could they do this to me uh so if you guys didn't see the episode where i built these i basically built these as uh, artillery against drippo which is which is gone um yeah so there used to be a robot guy over here and it looks like his arms are down here now and then there's his family, which are like leaking toxic poison. The rocket's gone. Everything. Oh, I. Uh, um. There's ice over here now. Oh yeah, Ice Baby is over here. This is Ice Baby. Um. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so scary. This is, we're on a horror server now. Uh huh. So yeah, there's so much stuff going on. I don't even know anymore. Um. Yeah, this is Ice Baby's 
Ice Baby Baby. Oh, uh, or is it Ice Ice Baby? I don't know. What is it? So there's so many things going on, and I was involved in all three of these things because Ash is my friend, and Ice Baby Baby is my my shop, and Ice and DSMC is my business partner. I don't know what's going on. So I just wanted to show you guys the craziness that's going on here and hopefully kind of bring a bit of light to it. If you guys haven't kept up on the videos, that's what's going on. All right, guys. Well, that's the spawn stuff wrapped up for now. Um, I know it's been a little bit of time here at the base, as you can see. I also put this pathway in. I wanted to ask you guys before you left uh, if you like this kind of rope bridge style. Obviously, it needs some work, but do you think maybe having some like kind of interesting Kirby bridges going all the way through here could be interesting. I think maybe, maybe not, maybe, I don't know. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I am really looking forward to getting this Googler uh, a bit more up and running, especially for, you know, other, other things. Because right now, this is so far my favorite way to search for items, and we can just store mixed up shulker boxes in here, and that is going to improve my life significantly. Anyways, guys, uh, that again is going to be it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I probably will be making another episode soon because 118 is finally out today. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for 118 content coming soon. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye bye.